Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're at part number 3924 to have a little bit of fun. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick, before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Today is a perfect day to be out at the park. It is beautiful blue skies and not a cloud in sight. We're out here today as part of the 2021 radio challenge, so this is my April installment of that. Now, this time we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I want to try a few different things. Uh, first of all, it's going to be QRP, so I've brought the Yezu 817 with me. I also brought the Elk antenna with me uh, that I'm going to be using uh, and trying some 2 meter packet work uh, to get into a local gateway. Now this is going to be a little bit different than what we've done over the last couple of, uh, of, of these radio challenges. Uh, the last two months I've been up in the mountains and to be honest with you, that's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. That's just a little bit too easy when you've got that much elevation. So today's going to be a bit more of a challenge because I'm down in the flatlands. So that's the first thing I want to try today. Second, I do want to go ahead and make an HF wind link connection. Whether the 2 meter connection is successful or not, it's just something that I want to, uh, want to accomplish today. I want to go ahead and get that HF connection uh, for wind link in the bank. And finally, we are going to try to activate this park, park number 3924, using the 817 and my own in-fed half-wave antenna. But we're going to do it with a bit of a twist today. Uh, the only park activations that I've done in the past have been on voice. So I want to go ahead and try to activate this one today with JS8 Call and see if we can accomplish that. So should be a good mode to uh, couple up with the 817 QRP rig, but it can be a little difficult to get enough contacts on JS8 call because there's a lot of automation that happens there, but there's not a lot of operators that just hang out on JS8 call waiting for CQ POTA. So we'll see what happens. You guys stick around. And some days just don't go exactly as we anticipated. So I ran into multiple issues today. First of all, uh, when I tried the 2 meter wind link connection, uh, I tried three different gateways, two on 2 meters and one on uh, 70 centimeters. And I could not get into any of those. So uh, a little frustrated with that, but you know, that's just kind of the way it goes when you're talking about two meter packet work. Uh, you do need that line of sight and I'm just not in a good area with that. So even though I put the antenna up on the mast, I'm up around uh, 22 feet, I believe, and using the directional antenna, 
it just wasn't quite enough. So that was, uh, I, I knew that was kind of going to be a long shot today, but I did want to experiment and uh, just see if we could make that happen. Uh, now, I did have good success when we moved over to HF, and I was able to go ahead and post a position report today and receive a message through the Winlink system. So the HF Winlink played out perfect for us and uh, everything worked as expected. Uh, and again, I was just using my own little uh, infed half wave antenna on 40 meters, but that worked great. Then I went ahead and moved over to JS8 call. I knew it was gonna be tough, but I didn't expect zero contacts. Yep zero contacts guys there's just not enough people that stay on JS8 call and try to utilize it to have actual QSOs there was nothing wrong with the station I sent out a heartbeat I got probably 10 or 12 uh, responses to the heartbeat but it's just not a mode that enough guys uh, utilize for day-to-day -day conversation Seems like the vast majority of operators these days, if they're working digital, they're going to FT8. Uh, so I'm not even sure if we can use FT8 to do a parks on the air activation. I need to actually look into that and see and maybe try that uh, next month uh, when I come back out to do my next radio challenge in May. So I'll have to do some poking around on that and see if that's even possible. So after it was a bust on JS8 call, I did go ahead and flip over to voice for a few minutes and I worked three or four park-to-park -park contacts. Uh, I was able to play with the new Hammers logging software and I gotta tell you, that is great. I was running it on the Pi uh, using the tablet and a full-size keyboard to do the logging for the contacts that I did made, and that was an absolute breeze. So I really hope that they're going to continue to add new features to that software going forward. I think that could be a real game changer for logging uh, in the field. It'd be nice to see them add something for field day before field day rolls around around this year. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Not every outing is perfect, but you got to get out there and play so you can learn what's going to work and what's not. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3. Today is an absolutely beautiful day to be out at the park. Perfect blue skies, not a cloud in sky. Da -da. Today is a perfect day. Da -da 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 -da. Can't talk at all today.